Hello and welcome to my first ever Once Human video where I do a build guide and a breakdown of what I'm doing. I've never done anything like this before. This video will not be edited. It will just be a completely raw video. So everything I'm saying now is completely live and in the moment. So forgive me for any mistakes or if I miss anything, I do apologize. This will be a shrapnel build guide that I've just set up. Um, it gave me pretty good damage earlier. I got 2.2 million out of it. I've done a few recordings before this just to test out how things work and stuff, and I didn't like those recordings. This is probably going to be my final attempt, so if the damage isn't at 2.2 million, forgive me, I'll probably mess up the rotation. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, for this build, I'm running, obviously, the so-called Last Valor, uh, and the DE Wildfire, uh, sorry, the DE 50 Wildfire for the Bullseye. You can use the recurve crossbow. It is better from what I understand, but I just prefer the DE50 wildfire. For my mods on all of my gear, um, I would prefer to have the violent mods for everything, but I'm still in the uh, process of obtaining those mods, and I've had pretty terrible luck. So, for my wildfire, I'm running vulnerability amplifier. Again, I want a violent version of this. Don't have that in the moment. It's just how it is. For the last valet, I am running Shrapnel Souvenir Violent. For my melee weapon, this will give me Fortress Warfare, which is awesome. Uh, the mods, I don't think they matter for the melee weapons, because they only really work if they're in hand. So, I could be corrected on this, I could be wrong. But mods don't matter on that, it's just for the Fortress Warfare. For my armor, I'm running a full set of Lone Wolves and one piece of Bastille as well as the beret for my headpiece. For the mods in these, for the headpiece, it's the Momentum Up Violent, the Shrapnel Carnage for the mask, Crit Amplifier Violent for the gloves. You can run Crit Boost with uh, the Violent variant. I don't have a decent roll on that yet, so it's just going to be that until I can get a 15% crit damage in there. Until I can get that, it's going to be the Crit Amplifier. For the boots, I am running the Slow and Steady. I would much prefer to run Covered Advance, which is easier to proc and maintain. But again, I don't have a decent roll on that, which is the Violent Variation. So for now, I am running the Slow and Steady Violent. I do recommend using Covered Advance. It's just better all around to maintain and use. For the chest, I am running Crit Damage Enhancement Violence. There are better options for mods in this slot, but this is just the best I have at the moment. And finally, for the pants, I am running Deadshot. Again, I would like the Violent Variation. Don't have it, so it's just, it is what it is. For my Cradle, I'm running the Automatic Weapon Enhancement for the 20% damage bonus when using rifles, SMGs or LMGs. Deviation Master, having it fight alongside you, grants you 50% against Deviants. Pretty much every enemy in the game, except for Rosetta and the Hyenas, I think that's what they're called, are Deviants. Uh, I don't know if that includes the Great Ones. I think it does, but don't quote me on that. Rapid Aid, that's personal choice. Tactical Combo, again, change weapons, which is what you'll be doing after you fire off your weapon, which gives you Bullseye to your Soaker. That will give you 25% for 4 seconds. Uh, again, personal choice, sprint, you can use whatever you want really. These, this, I'm just, you know, pointing out the important ones. Uh, deadly combo, after hitting a weak spot with a bullet effect, so bounce or shrapnel, in this case shrapnel. Bullet effect damage is 25% for 3 seconds. You're always going to be proccing this when you're firing. Bullet hunt, after killing a target with a range uh, weapon, shrapnel damage is 25% and shrapnel crit damage for 35, is 35% for 15 seconds. For example, if you're fighting Shadow Hound, you can kill his little minion guys that he summons once every 15 seconds at the start of the fight. So you kill one, wait 15 seconds. In that 15 seconds, you'll deal damage to Shadow Hound, then kill the second for the extra 15 seconds. It's a big boost in damage. Bounty Hunter, after defeating a unit you've marked, weapon damage is 25% and weak spot damage is 35% lasting for 15 seconds. So when you proc Bullseye and kill an enemy you've proc Bullseye on, that will proc for you. For food buffs, this one's important for 
uh, I think it's slow and steady. Yep, so obviously you need to be above 90% HP to keep slow and steady proc for the, tw the full 20%. That's quite difficult in Stardust zones where you get Stardust pollution. So the Malt Ale helps with that because it prevents Stardust buildup for 30 minutes. For your food buff, I'm running the Canned Meat, which gives me an extra 20% uh, shrapnel damage. For my Deviant... I'll be running the Lone Wolf's Whisperer, uh, Whisperer? Whisper? Whisper, sorry. Um, that just gives you extra damage. Can't actually remember how to check that. I think that's in your cradle, but I believe it's like a 25, uh, 27% damage bonus on weapons whilst it's out. That can obviously change depending on the level of the Deviant you have. So, I've already got my food buffs active. The rotation for me is as follows. Again, if I've missed anything, I apologise. Please put it in the comments and I'll make a full video again where I just cover absolutely anything I've missed. So, rotation. Drop your Deviant. He's going to push me around like crazy because that's just what he does. Use your Heavy Melee to proc Fortress Warfare. Get your Bullseye and then go to town. And there we have it. Again, not the greatest build in the world, but it's got me nearly 2 million damage in this video, which is fantastic. Uh, there was something else I was going to add, but I completely forgot what it was whilst doing that. Ah, no, I remember. For the uh, calibration, I've got the heavy style, which gives me a bonus 75% magazine size and the double crit rate. I would prefer to have the precision style for the bonus 20% weapon damage, but I don't have one with double crit rate at the moment. That would probably be the preferred calibration at the moment. This is all I have. So, that is the video. Thank you for watching. I do apologize for any mistakes I've made in this video. You know, it's my first video. I am learning, so any advice you guys can give, that would be greatly appreciated. Eventually, as well, I will probably do a build video on my base uh, at some point. But that will come in the future when I can learn how to edit my videos deal with my audio issues, uh, the sensitivity of my microphone, so on and so forth. But again, thank you for watching. Have a good day.